Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV. So today we're here to do a quick video in our new shooter series that I got that's based on a question I got from one of you. And that brings me to this. So here's one of my other toys. I'm not bringing this to show you this. I'm bringing it to show you this. So butt plate. This is the shape butt plate that you're used to seeing on period guns what you're used to seeing on today's guns this is the kind of a butt plate that you're used to seeing but what about those southern guns with that crescent butt plate how do you shoot that so let's take a look at that let me put this guy down real quick all right so crescent butt plates how do you shoot them put it into your shoulder you know if you if you've never handled one before they poke here and they poke here well I'll show you how to do that and uh, it's a really good question and you know if you've never held or, sh or shot a southern gun you don't know what that crescent butt plate's about so you may just decide to go another way not to have to deal with that so there's a pretty standard way of shooting right even though today um, you know a lot of shooting with something like this is done is done kind of straight out this way right but traditionally kind of weaver stance you would shoot kind of 45 degrees off your chest right so southern guns are shot differently and that's why they're designed that way so let's take a look so i'll do a quick video on this gun later but this is a southern soddy daisy by jack dupree now look at that what in the world right how do you, I'm not shooting that. Well, what they did with Southern guns is they shot across their body. So instead of shooting forward, 45 degrees off your chest or so, kind of weaver stance, where that is gonna poke into your shoulder. How do you do that? It doesn't fit your shoulder. You know, I'm six foot, 210 pounds. There's no way that's gonna fit in my shoulder. So what they did is they shot across their body. So with across your body, you raise your arm up and that fits right in the crook above your bicep. Between your pectoral muscles and your bicep, there's a little crook in there, and that's where that goes. So if you put that in there, now not, not only does that fit in there, but it holds the barrel up. So pretty handy, right? So standing sideways into the crook, see where that's at? That's not here it's there so cross your body and shoot so forward across your body into the crook between your shoulder and your pectoral muscles so it's a pretty handy way to shoot actually because you can hold it up one-handed because it's under your arm as well so real easy to maneuver, real easy to get what you need with the other hand. If, you're, if you do need something, you, you, you can hold this up one-handed. And it's pretty stable. And shooting, you know, real erect like you would, cheek down, you can make fine adjustments with your shoulder back here because it's got a grip on your shoulder. So like normally when I'm uh, freehand shooting and I'm sighting in on a small target, I'll make a little figure eight crossing that target to kind of teach my body to be still. And once I do three or four figure eights and then I slow down and pause right on line and I'll stay there for a couple of seconds. And that's long enough to get my shot off instead of just kind of wobbling around. So it gives you more control of the gun that way. So anyway, not into your shoulder, not poking you into the crook between your bicep and your shoulder and fired across your body. Now it doesn't have to be 100% across. You put it in that crook and you can kind of, you know, shift out. You can even shift out 45 degrees off your chest. Um, it's a little different, but if you close it in, you can really get comfortable standing freehand, uh, shooting freehand. So anyway, that's it. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.